Welcome to the Art of Lowriding. A true automotive enthusiast has a passion for their dream ride and strives to create their own vision of what a car should be, with each vehicle owner being the artist and their rides the canvas, creating automotive art and their dream ride. Hi, I'm Daniel Yala. Today we're in Ontario, California at the Citizens Bank Arena, home of Traffic Car Club's sixth annual custom car show. Now, this car show has become a premier car show in Southern California, attracting cars from all over California, as well as Arizona and Nevada. Today we'll get a chance to meet some of these great people and see some of these sweet rides. I invite you to join me as we uncover the art of low riding. I'm here with Gino, owner of this beautiful 64 Impala rag. Gino, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. Like me, you also. Man, give us a breakdown on what it took to build this car, what it was like when you first got it. When I first got it, it was just a car that didn't have a motor and transmission. I bought it out of Wyoming. It had no seats, but you know it had all the motors and everything on it, even the complete top. Okay. So we just took it all apart. Once you take it all apart, we take it, separate the body from the frame. Mm -hmm. We sandblast everything. And after we sandblast it, we send it to the powder coater for the frame, and we go to the paint shop for the body and we make sure everything gets painted. Now, As when you sandblast, did you find a lot of rust? Was it kind of not on this one, actually. There wasn't a lot of rust on okay. the car, so it was kind of easy to do, so all right. you know, not that expensive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we got it all done. I think I paid maybe like $6,800 to get everything done. That was okay. including the motor block, getting painted orange and everything else. You know, and so then, the $6,800 covered what? The motor block, the firewall, Perfect. all the door jams, the whole car painted and everything. Okay, painted. So it was like a body work included? Body work included. Okay. You know, we had it all done in Riverside. So we basically did, did all that. And then after we get everything sandblasted and painted and put it back together, then we can start putting the motor and everything back in. Then we have to select what motor we want, mm -hmm. whether it's going to be a regular 350 or a Corvette motor. We put a Corvette motor in this one. And um, What type of tranny? Tranny was just with a regular 350. Okay. You know, and then that way we don't have to have all the mm -hmm. computer stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, we just have to have the wiring. Right, right. So once we get that all done and everything is complete, we can start putting the interior in and putting all the windows and glass and all that stuff back on the car and it comes together. All new glass? Yeah, absolutely. They redid all the chrome? Yeah, definitely. You buy all brand new chrome back. You buy all brand new bumpers and everything, you everything. redo them? Or you have exactly. them brand new? If you look at the car, you can see everything glossy. Okay. So everything's brand new. And then uh, what about the uh, brakes and. Well, brakes, we did um, a different brake system on this yeah. car. We did disc brakes. Okay. You know, so we have disc brakes front and back. Okay. So instead of having the drums, because after, you know, you put the hydraulics and everything in the car, you have a little bit more weight to it. Mm -hmm. right. And it's harder to stop. So we put disc on there so it'll be easier to stop. So we don't have a lot of... And the frame's reinforced as well, right. so it's heavier. We did the frame, we welded everything, reinforced it, and then we also powder coated everything, but we molded all the welds. Mm -hmm. So it's completely molded and so it's smooth. Right. Everything's right. nice and exactly. smooth. So the bottom the of the car. Work, the body work on the frame. Right. The body, <laughs> the bottom looks just as good as the top. Yeah, basically. there you go, there you go. And the setup, what do you got in it? Um, basically this just has a little lay in place setup. It doesn't have a whole lot. It just um, we built a different type of hydraulic system to where the pump is easy to go up and easy to go down because we use hard line. It looks like a big E, like a shape of exactly. an E. Exactly. Well, my name three, is Eugene. Three oh, okay. <laughs> so we had to change it up a little bit. That, that's pretty slick. Is that a tank? Yeah, that's, that's a, a tank. tank. That holds that's all the fluid. All the oil is in there, and right. the motors are on the outside nice. of it. And you got the chrome that goes from one side to the other part, okay. and that's the power. Okay. Yeah. And everything's hard line? Exactly. It's nice. And then the upholstery, we did the upholstery? The upholstery, we had it done at a Brad shop. It's in Riverside. Okay. You know, it's over there by the Orange Show. And he did all the interior. He um, did all the fiberglass for me and everything else. In so it's trunk. like, yeah, all the trunk is fiberglass. You have the door handles and the speakers on the inside. Uh -huh. And he did a little bit of ostrich inside the seats and on the top. So it gives you kind of a, you kind of have original flavor with the right. interior, but you get a little some bit of class too. There you go. <laughs> you popped it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you got you to go. do a little different. Yeah, there everybody's car is the same if you just go the original way. The convertible rack, you chrome? Yes, yeah. we chrome all the rack Very completely. Nice. Put Very it nice. back together. And if you look at the top, then it has the uh, suede on the inside. It's ostrich on the outside. Now, uh, what color is the car? It's a, it's a um, it's the color that I kind of wanted. Uh -huh. So I just went for orange, and I had the guy mix it together. But it's almost like that 50-50 bar color. Oh, okay. Ice cream sandwich. Yeah, you know, very everybody. nice. Yeah. So we just did it like that. And the striping? The striping was done. It's two different kinds. Mm -hmm. It's a gold leaf and silver leaf on there. We 
because the gold leaf will bring out the orange and the silver leaf will just make everything stand out. And who did the striping? Uh, the striper was uh, Ramon. Okay. And he did everything at, at in Riverside also. And the wheels, what type of wheels you got? Uh, they're simple. They are orange and tan, so it mixed with the car. Uh -huh. And they're just regular days. 13 inch? 13 inch. Gotta roll on the 13s, right? Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little dangerous, but hey, somebody gotta have a heart to do it, you know? Oh man, everybody, everybody <laughs> rolls on 13s. Yeah, so absolutely. Just, and it makes the do. car look a little bit better, yeah, you know? Yeah. That's than having a big tire on That's it. our way, right? Exactly. That's our way. You know, awesome. some people think it's dangerous, but we yeah. think it's cool. So you did the whole undercarriage is chrome as well, right? Everything. The engine is all chromed out. Chrome out engine, undercarriage. Who did, who did your chroming? Um, I'm not too sure, but it was done at uh, Max's shop. It's called Ultimate Hydraulics. Okay. So V Max does everything. For oh, okay. It. Yeah. yeah. So, he's yeah. a he's a famous builder from around yeah, around here. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. Well, I appreciate it. Okay. No problem, man. It's nice hey, talking. Hey, it was you. a blessing, and thank you for talking oh, to us, anytime. man. The car is beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Gino's car is another great example of today's lowrider. And it takes a lot of time and patience. Hey man, don't it think does. it happens overnight. <laughs> I'm here with Caesar, owner of this '83 Cutlass, full show ride, uh, beautiful car. Caesar, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Do me a favor and uh, let everybody know what your car was like when you got it and what the journey was to build it. Uh, when I bought it, it was all primer junk. Just all I did was throw some rims on it, rolled it around. It was my family car. Oh, right, okay. And Started off life as a family car. Yeah, <laughs> and well, this has history. This was one of my first cars, and my kids were born in it. Oh, nice. Yeah. So uh, what was the car, uh, what was the journey once you, you had it as a family car? What, did you, what step did it take from there? Uh, How long did you drive it before you started building it? I uh, had it for three years, three, three good years, and I ran it. You were driving it driving for three it years before. It was my daily driver. Daily driver, uh, and like you were telling me that you use it as a family car. Your kids were born in it. Yeah, you know? that was that was a main thing right there. So once you started, decided to uh, to customize it. What did you do? What was your first thing you did? Uh, I cut the top off. The top was a Hollywood top. You cut it. Yes. And then from there, what did you do? Uh, do some rims on it. You got custom wheels for it. Yeah. And after that, it sat around for four years. So after you cut the top and got wheels for it, then it sat? It sat. Well, my family was growing bigger. Oh, okay. I have four kids. Family, family yeah. responsibility stepped in. Yeah. Nice, I like it. So the, the, the family took precedence over the car for four years, and then now you're getting back into it for four years later. What, what did you start doing after the four years was up? I sent it straight to the body shop, got the custom paint after that. Did the motor, the airbags, um, everything. What, what, when you uh, you say you took it to the body shop, did they strip the car down completely? Completely, bare metal. Bare metal. Yeah. And then they uh, did they take it to do the frame or what? What, what happened? Because um, I know it's a frame is painted, undercarriage is painted. Yeah, they pretty much took the whole front end off. They took it off. And painted the firewall, shaved the firewall, and everything. Okay. And then they shot the car all the same color, yes. patterns out. They did the patterns there at the. Yes, they did. W what color is the the car? The color. It's a uh, hot pink pearl with red, red flake, and magenta. Okay. And then uh, once once the car was painted, they put the car back together. Uh, I helped out. Okay. Yeah. And then so you guys put the car back together. Then what? You guys put the airbags on it at that point. Yeah, that was the next step. Was the airbags. Who did that? Me. You did, did all the airbags yourself? I did the airbags, the engine, and... What, uh, did, what did you do to the engine? I candied it out, put candy on the block, uh -huh. and chromed out everything in it. Chromed it all out? And then uh, where'd you go from there? Uh, I moved on to the stereo system. After I finished the stereo system, I got the upholstery done. Who, what, what, did, what was done to the, upholstery, uh, to the uh, stereo system and who did it? I did the stereo. What, what, what's in it? What is it? It's all audio bond. Audiobahn TVs, Audiobahn amps, and... What's a head unit? It's a Pioneer head Pioneer unit. head unit? So you got some pretty good sound in there then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, it should. <laughs> um, so then from the stereo system, where did you go? Oh, uh, it was the interior. The upholstery. the upholstery. Who did the upholstery? Uh, GNS. GNS? Yeah. Um, what does it consist of? Uh, suede and vinyl. Okay. And then you get to the interior of the trunk as well, which is yeah. done in the trunk. Same thing? Same thing. It's all upholstered the same? Everything's wrapped. To match? Yeah. Everything's wrapped. Very nice. 
So then uh, all the chrome, everything, who did the chrome? Uh, Millennium, right Millennium. here in Ontario. The wheels look like they're custom painted. Did, did the paint shop do that for you, or did you, you have them custom, the wheels custom made? I had my friend, my friend's a painter, he did all that. All the custom work on yeah. the wheels? Are they 13 13.7s? Yes, they are. Very nice, very nice. So uh, I noticed on your sign, your show card says the owner and your wife's name is on there as well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Well, actually, she picked out the color. Oh, really? Yeah. That's good. That's good. So there, there was an interaction. She's part of this car. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's a big deal. This car. Really? That's nice. Uh, the, the pinstriping, who did the striping on it? Oh, that was Mike Tippett. Mike Tippett did all the striping? Multiple color striping on it? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, Caesar, thank you very much for showing us your car. I appreciate it. It's a beautiful thank car. It's much. definitely a work of art. And Caesar in his car, another fine example of today's lowrider. I'm here with Sergio, owner of this uh, beautiful 51 Chevy Stepside pickup. Sergio, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, hey, uh, give us a breakdown about your truck. Let us know about it, uh, what, to, what it was when you got it, and uh, what it took to build it. Well, it, I, bought it I, I bought it like three or four years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, it took a little while to build it. Okay. And uh, I did some stuff around. Uh, I'm still working on it actually. Okay. <laughs> Putting little stuff here and there. Yeah. So tell us about the uh, the the process. You know what it was like when you got it. What you did to paint the, the undercarriage, the suspension setup. You know bags, uh, hydraulics. Well, whatever. yeah. I did uh, the body work and uh, me and friends, some friends and uh, the upholstery, the tranny. We reviewed the engine, everything original, just redone. Uh, so you took it apart, everything, all the chrome was yeah, redone. Yeah. Yeah. And so some parts I bought it already chrome, some of that we came out and uh, headed with chrome, which is the original part. All right. Yeah. And then, uh, so then you chose the silver and black uh, uh, Raider, yeah. Raider colors? Yeah. <laughs> I, people call me the Raider truck. So okay, so you I like the Raider? I, I like it. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. And then uh, the in, in the interior, uh, it's uh, kind of a, is it original or custom? Well, pretty much original. Okay. Uh, custom made by pretty much original. We try to do redone everything original, okay. so it kind of looks original. Original. And the uh, engine, what, what type of engine? The engine I got a 235 straight six. Uh, uh, tranny. Tranny uh, uh, for a uh, five feet of floor. Okay. Uh, it's a rebuilt. Too. Rebuilt. Oh, yeah. So everything you chromed it all out and everything. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Is it is it a uh, a 12 volt? Truck or six volt? Well, it was a six volt. Like, oh. We converted to twelve volt. Oh, okay. So I get more uh, more juice out of it. And yeah. So it's all everything's all converted over twelve yeah, volt. Yeah, everything's converted to nice. twelve volt. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tell us about the suspension, because uh, is it stock uh, in the front? Does it have A arms? It or? just got a regular suspension, but we put a, a airbag on it. Oh, it's got no airbag. hydraulic, just uh, up and down airbag. Front and back. Rear, front and back. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. then uh, what did what did you do in the bed? I know it's in the bed. I just. Uh, Pretty much I put everything new to redone, uh, like I said, original. Keep, try to keep it original as much as I could. Okay. And, uh, all the woods are redone. All in the, the woods are redone. I put the tie rails on it. I made it myself. Okay. And uh, I've been doing a little work here, a little work there. Like I said, I'm, I'm not even done yet. Yeah. I'm still working on it. Now, all the glass has been restored. Everything is yeah, new. Yeah, everything is redone. Everything. Um, yeah. On the on the back on the sides you have the spare tire on the on the fenders. Yeah. You had the fenders. They came. You got the fenders like that. With uh, well, they was the way it was, but we put the spare tires. Uh huh. Because usually they come with one spare tire. Oh, on okay. It. I put uh, both of them so you know. One one on each side. One on each side. Make it even. <laughs> make it even. Yeah. <laughs> and you're running 13s. Uh, I'm running 13s. Yeah. Which, uh, 520 13s. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, you put a you put a visor. Is that for a truck or is that a is that a car visor? Oh, car visor. Uh, actually, it's a truck visor. Oh yeah. Yeah, it is a truck visor. It's specifically for the 51. It's specifically for the 51. Oh nice. I think it's more like for, uh, 50 through 53. Oh okay. Yeah, but it's specific for truck. Yeah, it is. And then the uh, you put spotlights and. I put uh, what they call dummy light. Yeah, with, uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And you put a stereo system in. I got a stereo system on it. Yeah, it's pretty. Pretty, pretty good, nice. I guess, yeah. What, what type of system do you have uh, in it? I got, I think, I think it is a Clarion. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just a CD Clarion with an MP3. Okay. Uh, yeah, very nice. Yeah. Well, Sergio, thank right. you very much for showing us your thank truck. You. It's very beautiful, a nice, classy little truck. Excellent, I appreciate yeah. it. Sergio's truck is another great example of today's low run. I'm here with Juice, owner of this very rare 75 Glasshouse rag. Juice, 
Well done, beautiful thank car. Thank you, appreciate it. You know, it. just give us a breakdown on what the car was like when you got it and what it took to build it. Okay, all right. I, I purchased the car about four years ago from Vernon, um, VMAX, from Ultimate Riders, and um, I went on ahead and put the whole car together how I wanted. He asked me what I wanted to do with it. It was already frame off from there. Wait, so just, when you bought the car, it was already frame off? It was off. already... It all apart. It was already apart. Okay. It was for sale like that, oh, okay. and I purchased it and went all on right. ahead and put a twist on it. Okay, so yeah. then you got a chance to add your flavor to exactly. it at that point. Yes, all right. Yes. So sure. what was the first thing that was done? The first thing was done was powder coated the frame. Okay. Orange. They had strap it. it before that? Well, they, it's a full, it's a full, fully wrapped frame. Okay, fully wrapped. All yeah. Right. So he powder took it to somewhere in Los Angeles and had it powder coated. Okay. I told him that's the color I wanted, and I wanted everything chrome up under there. All so right. He went on ahead and did that for me as well as the Standard motor. Standard arms yeah, it, and everything. Yes. Yes. Did and the everything arm got molded. chrome. They're actually molded. Okay. Yeah, so. Arms are molded and chrome. Yeah, yes. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then where'd you go from there? After that, he talked to me about the interior. We went on ahead and I wanted the car orange, my last name orange. Oh, okay, so, all so right. So I right. wanted the interior like a brown and orange. Okay. So he, we, um, that let me know that I want going to paint the car orange as well. Okay, so that's good. After so that. you had a plan. Yeah, I had a plan. <laughs> I had a plan from the beginning. All right. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, did you do the upholstery before the paint job or? Actually, yeah, we did the upholstery first. Okay. After we got it's that all set out of in the there. car. Yes, we got that set in there okay. and then we went into the motor. Okay. The motor took me a while. Oh, all right. Because I kept seeing other people's stuff and I wanted some more candy. Oh, so I kept going back, yeah. kept going back. Changing your mind. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but it, it came along within a year. So that you said, oh, oh, I, I saw this, I want that, you know, right, I need this, right. well, I went this far, exactly. I might as well go a little further, and how it starts to build and up. It worked itself out okay. for Okay. <laughs> so what, what's, what did you end up ultimately doing with the with the motor? Well, um, chromed he, out. He, he, chromed, he fully chromed the whole motor out, um, a serpentine, put a serpentine, because it okay. was a 350 at first, so okay. we did a serpentine kit on there, and a, um, we, the brake booster, he redone that, Will Will. Uh, he did quite a bit on there when it came to the to the Okay, um, so you did a whole serpentine kit? Yeah, yeah. Paint the block and... The block is orange, orange as well to match the car. Okay. Yeah, so... And uh, you got a bunch of billet pieces on there all chromed out? A few billet pieces, okay. not that much, a few... Uh, so, so, but yeah. the engine's completely chrome? Completely chrome. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, then, then... we did the digital dash. And you know the digital dash only come teal, green, blue, and red. I paid the actual amount and got that one orange. Oh, yeah, who'd you do that through? Dakota. Oh, okay, so they yeah. did that for you, yeah. custom. Yeah, we just nice. paid that orange. Yeah, you get what you paid for. So. There you go, there you go. So that worked out for me, perfect. Okay, you know? and yeah. then uh, where'd you go from there? After that, um, I wanted to do some different parts of the trunk. You know, I wanted to give some um, congratulations to a lot of my other club members, so I decided to put every one of their cards on my trunk with the mirror. So when, when, did, when did you get to the paint job itself before you put the... Actually, right after the car was fully built. Uh -huh. um, when I seen it, Max had everything broke down, and I was almost in tears because I'd never seen my car with the hood and motor, everything out. So he painted it, he sent it out, had it painted, then pinstriped, then leaked. Oh, okay. That's a different leaf that you see on there that you, you probably want to see. The variegated, see variegated, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a leaf right there. So it's a new leaf. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, and then once it was painted, you went to the murals? After the, yeah, after the, then the murals, and then after that, I did the top. Okay. I wanted to switch the top. It, that, that top is different that you see on yeah. this. And I have the shitty bow tie so in there on, as well. On, on orange uh, Stay Fast Stay Fast Stop, stop. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Custom made. Custom made, yeah. And then tell us about the murals. Well, the murals I have on there, I had the Martin Luther King, Malcolm X together on there, mm -hmm. and uh, the Liberation School to actually follow behind Martin Luther, I mean uh, Malcolm X at that day. Oh, okay. I did a little bit of that just for the skirts, and that was it. Okay. Yeah. And just then on the trunk. Put, on the trunk is something totally different. It's just all cards, all my club members. Your club members. Yes. Okay. All, all the cards in your right. Life. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And then you updated <laughs> the car. Yes. Yes. Because it's a '75, so I have the '76 front and black back clips. Okay, That's so you got the square headlights in the front. Yeah, exactly. All right. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. They enhance it a little bit more. Very nice. So, well, Juice, thank you very much, man. No Your problem. car is beautiful. No thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for showing it to us. No problem. No problem. Thanks That's for interviewing. Awesome. <laughs> a Juice and his ride are another fine example of today's low riding. I'm here with Hector, owner of this beautiful and extremely rare 50 Deluxe convertible. Hector? It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice meeting you. Do, do me a favor and tell us uh, what the car was like when you got it and what it took to get it to this stage that it's in right now. Uh, I ended up buying the car in Dinuma, Northern California, and I, brought, I actually brought the car home in boxes. I mean, the front end was off the car, everything was off the car, even the cranks for the windows, everything. Wow. 
I ended up buying it in a pawn shop in Dainuba. <laughs> it's a little town and there was, there was a pawn shop and a friend of mine actually found it for me because I told him I was looking for one. And we found it through the Hemmings Motor News. Wow. Okay, so you got it home. What was next? I got it home. I called my friend. I told him, you know what? Come down. Help me go through all this mess because it was just a pile of just parts everywhere. And we got cardboard boxes. We categorized everything and I started from there little by little. So was there a lot of parts missing when you when you finally kind of categorized everything? Did you realize there was a lot of things needed? Uh, the guy told me that 99% of the car was there and he wasn't lying. There was 1% missing which was the belt molding which was hard to find oh, and wow. the hard. window garnishes and I ended up finding those and buying those. Okay so now you're part hunting, right? So what, what do you do? Uh, you, you're, uh, you're paint first, your body, what, what it goes from the, after you get all the parts, where you go from there? Well, once I got all the parts, the first thing I did, I uh, took the car to Mario's Auto Works and I had the Albas painted for me. They did a beautiful job. This is the second car they painted for me and I always go through troubles choosing my colors because I'm colorblind. <laughs> I can't choose my shades. Well, you, they chose a gray one here. Yeah, we, you know, I told them what I wanted and they said, yeah, we'll do it that color. So uh, did they did they come off the frame? Did, I got, did they shave the firewall there? What, what they, did they do? They, uh, they shaved the firewall because I wanted everything. I wanted the engine department just where you look at it, you just see a motor. Mm -hmm. I didn't want no wires showing, no nothing. So that was part of my design and part of the way I wanted to build the car, actually. I wanted a, just something totally different that you don't see on the bomb. Awesome. So, okay, so they painted it and firewall shaved, everything's painted. Where, where do you go from there? Well, once I got it from there, before they finished it off, I took it to my mechanic without the front end. And before that, I took it to Fonzie, and Fonzie did a mural on there for me. Because I own a truck called Rapper's Delight, which I've had over 33 years. And um, that truck, I wanted to keep the theme going. That's why I called this one Still Rapping, because okay. the other one was called Rapper's Delight. Okay, so, uh, so Fonzie did the mural on the firewall, and then... Uh they cleared, uh, you took it back to Mario's for them to clear and... and yeah, bought, it yeah. They, they cleared the car and they, buff, and they buffed it all out. And the mural was already on there. Took it back and then I had my mechanic, me and my mechanic put the motor in the car. And then from there we just kept on, you know. They, they finished putting the front end on, I took it home. And I finished putting all the chrome on. Then I ended up taking it to Covina Auto Trim. And they did all the interior as well as my as my uh, stereo sound. The interior is beautiful. It's kind of original, but it's got a little bit of more of a custom flair to it with a double stitching and all in the seats. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Um, so once the upholstery was done, uh, did you do the hydraulics then, or what, what, when did you do that? I actually did the hydraulics when my mechanic was putting in the motor. Okay. I took advantage of his shop. Okay. Because he had he had the lift, and I didn't have to be on my back and on the floor. And he was cool with it. He so goes, you yeah, go ahead. It? Yeah. And Mario Mario Jr. from the Dialbas, uh, he designed the battery rack for me. Oh, but okay. between me and him, he designed the battery rack. I told him what I wanted. Mm -hmm. And then I ended up installing the cylinders and everything. Oh, okay. So uh, it's uh, front and back, side to side? No, just front and back. Front and back? Yeah, and pancake. Awesome. Uh, what type of stereo system do you have in it? I got a Clarion. I got three tens. And I got mid-range, high... Uh, my tweeters, and then I got six by sixes. Okay, and uh, the wheels, you have Zenith? Yeah, they're Zenith, Zenith wire wheels. 13 inch? Uh, 13 inch with premium sports on them. Awesome, and they're gold plated, chrome? All chrome. All chrome, yeah. okay. Man, this car is, is it's an, it's an exceptional car. It's extremely clean, beautiful car. Thank you. Um, I mean, you've, you've, you've restored the bone steering wheel original. I mean, the, the uh, just the oh, old yeah. school knobs on the Cadillac the mirror, screen. compass. I will try to get all the accessories, a cigarette holder. I mean, fog lights. I mean, it has everything that it could have. You got the color bar, old school color bar. Yeah, I found, a, I found a <laughs> old school color bar. I picked it up for a hundred bucks, and uh, it was one of our original members from our club, and he he passed away. So that little color bar has a little story behind oh, okay. it. Oh, okay. You know. Awesome. Well, Hector, I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for showing us your beautiful car. Thank you. And Hector and his car is another fine example of today's lowrider. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. I look forward to seeing you next time as we uncover the art of lowriding.